Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own toothpaste. Uh, you, what you need is uh, a box of baking soda, uh, a bottle of hydrogen peroxide. Uh, hydrogen peroxide should be very uh, should be available from drugstore. Uh, and uh, if you have, well, you can also add some colloidal silver. This is the this is the bottle of colloidal silver. And you obviously need sea salt as well. Uh, do we need any uh, peppermint or Okay. Okay. Um, most likely, well, uh, you need peppermint essence, essential oil as well. If you have. If you have. Otherwise, no need. Mm, otherwise, you don't need this. Um, so, shall we start? Yes. Uh, we need to, to some baking soda. About one full spoon, and you also need some hydrogen peroxide. Uh, Three percent or six percent, it doesn't matter. Uh, you need it just a little bit. I uh, don't not not too much. So what you need at this stage is you to mix them together. In about five minutes, when right, the volume of this solution will grow, uh, eventually you will end up with a, a cup of um, cream-like toothpaste. Uh, if you have, right, you can also improve your final product by adding some colloidal silver in there. Not too much, just a little bit. Uh, you can also add some sea salt. Uh, again, the amount is more important. And if you do have, you can also add. About one drop of essential oil. No, not too much. You know, you see not. Okay. In about five minutes, right, this uh, powder will become the cream like uh, semi solid solution. This is going to be your toothpaste. Any other question? Uh, I want to know how different this uh, toothpaste compared to uh, other toothpaste sell uh, in the market. Uh, the first difference is the, uh, the first difference, uh, and also it's also the most important difference. But this kind of toothpaste, your own toothpaste, contain no fluoride. But those uh, store bought the toothpaste contain quite a large amount of fluoride. According to scientists, uh, fluoride is not going to be good for our health. Uh, another different, another um, different is uh, this version of this version of uh, toothpaste contain mainly so sodium, while the store water toothpaste contains uh, uh, some amount of potassium. Uh, I mean this version contains some mainly sodium, while the store water toothpaste contains uh, some amount of potassium. 
And also, well, obviously, the store bought the two places is quite expensive. But this one costs us no more than a few dollars. Uh, can you tell more about uh, if for long term to you this is natural uh, toothpaste? So what benefits uh, to the teeth? Yeah, uh, you have already added uh, chlorophyll silver into uh, this toothpaste. Right? So this toothpaste is go going to be your antibacterial toothpaste, uh, which is currently not. Uh, not really available uh, in, uh, in the market. Um, and uh, this antibacterial toothpaste can help you minimize uh, dental disease because of the because of its the antibacterial nature. Uh, you have less chance of getting. Uh, dental caries, dental cavities, uh, gum disease. And probably, uh, obviously, right, your mouth uh, contains some bacteria which uh, secretes the uh, enzyme which digests hyaluronic acid. So we need to get rid of this bacteria. We need some antibacterial solution. Hydrogen monoxide is already antibacterial. If you add colloidal silver in the solution, so, uh, it, it will become the, a double-edged sword. A double-edged sword. Uh, another question is, uh, is it uh, we must uh, use uh, uh, essential oil, peppermint? No, uh, the, the yeah. essential oil you the presence of the essential oil in the solution will improve the taste. Uh, uh, it will really become more competitive. Mm. <laughs> so not not means it's not necessary because it's uh, to to use, right? Um, uh. well, for me, it's not necessary, but uh, for most people, right? Taste is also important, particularly, particularly for the children. Right? Uh, yeah. uh, so I think adding essential oils in the solution will help. Okay. Where can buy all these uh, um, ingredient products, mm. especially this? Uh, Penox hydrogen peroxide can be purchased from drugstore. Mm. Uh, in the UK, you can also purchase it from both. Uh, for super drugs. Colloidal silver can be purchased from health food store. Uh, uh, but in Europe, right, uh, you cannot buy colloidal silver. So you have to make it your you have to make your own colloidal silver. Please refer to my another video about colloidal silver. Uh, baking soda is just uh, sodium bicarbonate. It can be purchased. It can be bought from from everywhere. You can buy it from the chemist. You can buy it from the supermarket or grocery in the U.S. Uh, in Asia, you can buy it from from any ordinary store. Uh, and obviously, right, uh, sea salts or ordinary salts uh, can be purchased from the supermarket. And essential oil. The essential oil is more difficult to find, but uh, uh, in some places, like the UK, you can easily buy it from Covent Garden. Uh, in Hong Kong, you can buy it from from a drugstore uh, or supermarket, like welcome supermarket uh, or parking store, parking shop. Uh, in the U.S., uh, I think you can buy it from the 
from the health food store as well, or from the from any homotherapy practitioner. Thank you for your introduction. Thank you. Okay.